Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zestria HD Blind with your host Damiel SC. Last time, we slept at the end a whole bunch. And we slept like some sort of vlog type thing. Um, we are about to infiltrate the Cardinalry. Or. It was really weird. The last episode, they like talked about how there were people in danger, and Saray wasn't immediately like, jumping into, no, we're not going to wait, let's go help them right now. He just sort of accepted that we were going to leave them where they were. And it was really bizarre. I don't, I don't, that seems very out of character for him. I don't know why they put that scene in there. I don't get it. Alright, so if I remember correctly, the Knight's Tower is here, because they told me to go rest for the night. And I rested for several nights, because I'm irresponsible. I, I did rest for now. I wonder if I'm supposed to just, like, go. Um, if the correct thing to do, as far as Saray is concerned, is just go to the uh, chapel himself and not wait for permission or... Which also seems weird. I'm confused, you guys. I don't get it. I'll try going over here because I definitely rested for the night and they definitely didn't care. Let's just see what happens if I go over here. Well, I can go into oh, this place. easier than we thought. This looks like an auditorium of sorts for the believers. Sure looks like a small crowd. Yep, this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm, I, I was not actually supposed to go and rest for the night. That makes more sense. That makes me feel better about Saray. Because I really didn't get it. Hello, guys. Can you tell me the names of the Seraphim who hold the utmost power, known as the Five Lords? Um, uh... Are any of them on party? Mirsef! Oh, and Eumacia! Hyanawa and Almanac! Damn. Correct. Now, can you tell me the name of the last one? The Seraph who's worshipped here Wow, that's the, the last Church? one you got? Motelis! Motelis! Crap, none of them are on my party. That's right. Mao Tellus is the seraph who has given the entire Glenwood continent his blessing. How come I've never heard of any of these people? The seraph worshipped at the shrine church is Mao Tellus? The five lords, huh? Big movers and shakers. I bet Mao Tellus would know something about how to stand against the Lord of Calamity. He's got to. If he's even still around, I, is I he can't he really can't help all him. that? I can't well, he's the leader the of the right. five lords, after all. Is he the leader, or just the one at this church? You must be Sore. Welcome to the Rollins Church headquarters. Wow, how do you know who I am? I heard you were to visit. Please, come on in. He just teleported. These children are prop objects. It's they don't actually exist. It's more magnificent than I'd even imagined. The architecture definitely dates it to the height of the era of Asgard. Glad to see you're impressed, but don't let your guard down. That reminds me. Dang it. Nope, 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 nope. People did say that there were a couple of places I'd missed, which I was really confusing, because I went around the town pretty extensively, but I know they said, oh god, there were two of them. One was the fountain. I do remember the fountain from comments. This is, that's, oh, and there's a What's that? I always feel weird whenever I see that there's like they're t they're putting something in the last slot because I was worried that there's there was something else before that what a resplendent fountain yeah it's one of the famous sites of Pendrago 
I don't know a lot about it, but supposedly the water's piped in from afar through an underground wow, channel. Aqueducts. Oh, I see. So the aqueducts are actually not buried, but you know. Doesn't even serve any purpose. Stupid, simple humans. Well, considering their lack of seraphic arts, I think their technological advancement is commendable. Useless, pointless, waste of effort. It's also known as the Fountain of Wrath. Wrath? Why do they call it that? Something with the piping's all messed up. Every now and then. <sighs> like that. Oh dear. Stupid, stupid humans. <laughs> Well, that's what you get for just in our fountain. Oh, and there's another one too, but I've forgotten where it is. That's the thing. I, I I do read all of your comments, but the thing is, I will read your comments as they're posted, usually while I'm at work, because I am at work all the damn time. And so, if it's something really, really, really important, I'll you know typically make a note to remember it, like controls or battle strategies or things like that. If it's just, hey, you missed this, I'll be like, okay, I missed something. I, I don't I don't get super 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 bothered by you know trying to find every single thing in a blind run. It's a blind run. Obviously I'm not going to find every single thing. So I'm I'm more or less okay with that. Um I it's it doesn't bother me that there's things in the world that I'm not going to get, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. Heat. Don't move the microphone. I swear, every, some episodes I'm way louder than the other ones, and it's because the cat will come by and actually, um, like, move my microphone. And so it doesn't face towards me anymore. I don't remember where the other one is. Sorry, guys. Well, that was easier than we thought. This looks like an auditorium of sorts for the believers. Okay, here we so go. Just watch this. Again. It's All more right. magnificent than I'd even imagined. The architecture definitely dates it to the height of the era of Asgard. Glad to see I do you love how much this game is voice acted, like although... Down. Wow, there's a lot of this church that isn't the public area. Most churches, in my experience, tend right, to... I made it. Aww. Let's go to the ground first. Is that a monolith? This inscription concerns the trial of the shepherd and the spiritual powers he obtains upon clearing it. Who broke it? Could the spiritual powers be real? Bzz, 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 bzz. Be real, real bees. Oh, bees everywhere. Just, just possibly. possibly. Yeah, you could just say I can't it's say that. You don't have to. meant to tell us something. But it's all gibberish. It? it must be some kind of code. Well, it does involve sensitive info. Maybe there's a hint to crack the code somewhere. Hey, what does the big rock thing say? I'm afraid I'm not really sure. The inscription is written in some sort of cipher, and the key to interpreting it is handed down only from Pope to Pope. So, I guess we'll have to missing. get the Pope to read it then, huh? Oh. Hi. Something's wrong. Hi Let's get out of here. Yeah, something's wrong being the high gaff showed feel up. so good. What is going on? It's a Hellion's domain. Just like when we fought Helldolf. Oh, Helldolf, sorry. Not High Dolph. There's someone. But it's definitely not Hydolf. Do I have to do another solo fight? Well, I guess Rose is here, so it won't be a solo fight, but still. Just in case this is a battle. Going home already, Shepard? No, I'm coming to see <gasps> you. I am Cardinal Fortin of the Church of Rollins. Wow. This domain, is it yours? Ah, so you can still move. Well, yeah, I just walked up to you. Why don't you lend me your powers? For the sake of the people, of course. 
that you that's not a very good way of making an offer. In I hardly think myself the equal of a Philistine like Bartlow. Well, obviously not your Sounds like something a Philistine would say. Charming, but sticks and stones and so on, young lady. Okay, well she can break your bones Ooh, for real as well. She's good. I have but one wish. To see my empire overcome this tumultuous era of chaos. Uh, does she think that's wrong? Because for her to be a, a task Hellion... only possible if the people are united. Although, I, is it possible but that she's not a Hellion, but she still has a to unify domain? The people through mere patriotism alone. Okay, thought, thoughts, 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 thoughts. It's possible that she's... Uh, I'm basing my entire idea that she's a Hellion based on the fact that she can suppress my domain just like, um... Heldolf could. However, it is entirely possible that one of the Prime Lords is aligned with her. And so her ability to, you know, her ability to do this is not based on uh, malevolence or Hellions at all. Although it's, it's odd that a Prime Lord would banish other Seraphim. Shepard, do you know exactly what it is that the state has used for eons to keep an entire country in line? Well, apparently fear. Is it faith? Same thing. Yes, faith. It is the belief in their own salvation that inspires in people the greatest sense of unity when they band together against outsiders who share different values. Common enemy and all that. Meaning that my church itself should serve as the cornerstone for all of Roland's. Maybe in your mind. It is but the vision of one who would guide the people. With the name and power of the Shepherd, more people than ever can be brought to salvation. Then you should cooperate with the Knights. Wouldn't that really be what's best for everyone? And what I would to welcome the their efforts if they would simply bend to my will and do as I command. That's not working with people. Even if they are a pack of loutish meatheads who can't figure out that their Pope abandoned them. Wait a minute, the Pope just ran away? You didn't have him locked up? I am not a street thug, child. The Pope, Macedra, I should say, left of his own accord. Abandoning his duty to both the Empire and his I'm followers. I'm not entirely sure I believe that. What, pray tell, would you call such a man? Someone who had more, something more important to do. Pretty irresponsible, if what you're saying is true. Irresponsible is one word. And still there are so many fools out there who trust in such a coward. Well, the I would talk to example. him before I pass judgment. Especially from in an order to bring the people together, we must find Macedra and give him his due punishment. Punishment. I'm okay with finding Macedra. Yes, the same punishment that befell those uncivil enough to mistrust me. Then we have a problem. We need the Pope to tell us the meaning of the inscription. Why? Cooperate with me and it won't be necessary. I need to know. No matter what. Knowledge doesn't need to lead to power. Ah, I see. That's very unfortunate. So then you mean to say... What the... My body! That you reject my vision! Saray! <sighs> oh, awesome. Let's go! She is certainly We're not leaving. as good as held off then. <laughs> when did Mikleo learn to do that? Not that I'm complaining. What? That almost seemed like wind walking. Is that what they were talking about with through my domain and connected with the Seraphim, if only just for a moment. Oh, well I relish this. Invisible. You also use the site to type movement. 
and move undetected past enemies this is by sight. We disappeared? What the hell was that? It's called the Spectral Cloak. <laughs> You've been practicing in secret, haven't you? That was sweet. We'll talk later. We've got to flee to the Knight's Tower. Okay, so there is a downside. Oh, I do have to wonder, whenever you're walking around with like a water bubble around you, does this keep the rain off? Oh, and it does go away after a while too. That makes sense. I was going to say, that seems like obnoxiously powerful. Okay. Actually, I believe someone said that there was something to do with the shrine, but you had to do what's inside the shrine first in order to get it. So let me run back up here. Is there anything in the triggers? Don't try it, Saray. We can't possibly withstand that domain as we are now. Nope. That was a really interesting exchange. I'm still... I'm not sure how Hellionist she is. Um, I have a feeling she's relative... I, she definitely understands Seraphim, and it's interesting, unlike the entire rest of the world, she does not view the Seraphim as, um, godly beings, but as tools. Although, possibly that's, um, possibly she saw as reference for the Great Lords. Oh, hello. Didn't see you before. Sorry, again, it's, it, it's my incomplete memory, which... On the one hand, I'm sure people are getting frustrated by the fact that, that they'll tell me something I'll forget. On the other hand, though, I really like it this way because it, it's almost something I've trained over the years. It lets me it lets me stay blind to a certain degree. You know, whenever I play an episode, I'm not you know if someone told me something and I find it, it's still to a certain degree that I'm finding it. Not always. There will be things I do literally just remember. But overwhelmingly, I, I I will find things because I legitimately find things. And that's again, I'm remembering someone said something unlocked after the shrine church, but I can't remember what it is. And I'm okay with that. Okay, nothing back here. That seems really weird. Why would they put that in there? Definitely something will come up back. I think... I, okay, I think I'm going to have to determine I don't know what it is. So let's head back to the night camp. I knew something was up whenever I saw that the uh, chapel was considered to be a dungeon. Yeah, I'm a little bit sad that I can't um, find this thing, but oh well. I'll live, guys. I, I, I like how this music is just so oppressive, if that makes sense. You know, I, I just really feel tense with the soundtrack. So let's go there. Anything over here? No. Alright then. Back to the Knight's Camp, or the Knight's Tower. It's not really camp, is it? Got a dash. You go on ahead. Uh, okay. Go off and murder somebody. Saray doesn't care for some reason. So weird. He was so, so, so upset with the wind demon that wanted to kill uh, the Pope fled of his own volition. Hellions. I'm sorry I couldn't get more details. We were sort of running for our lives. No, that is more than enough. I'm just relieved that you weren't captured. Thanks for saving us back there. It's the least I could do. Seraph Miklio. My humble admiration for your bravery. It's nothing, really. It is nothing. All you did was blind her temporarily. More than you did. We have to do something about her domain. Those powers might help. 
Let's get the Pope to decipher that inscription. Wait, what? That'll be tough if we don't know where he is. The Knights have been hunting him for a year now with no success. Yeah, but they were assuming the whole time that the Cardinal was behind the disappearance. Wow, that was quick. Guess what? I think I know where Popadope might be. Popadope? You do? The village of Gadadin on the southern part of the continent. We won't know for sure until we check it out, of course. How did you get that information? Well, let's just call it an industry secret. You know how it is. Information is for business. I should have expected no less from the wife of the shepherd. Let us send a search team to Gadadin. Hold on a minute. The Cardinal already expects that our side will be searching for the Pope. A highly visible squadron of knights would essentially be a bright pink arrow pointed straight at him. A bright pink him. arrow. However, we can operate covertly in small numbers. And we can avoid sight. Let us handle Gadadin. But that's far too much to ask. Well, we need him anyway. Chill, Captain. We got this. What is it they say? Pope springs eternal? Abandon Pope! All ye who... Uh, don't go to Gadadin. Okay, settle down. <laughs> My thanks, gentle shepherd. Actually, you know, the conversation worked really well for like missing, you Do know, you suppose we could get a pass two thirds of it. I might be mistaken for an ally of the Highland Army otherwise. I have seen for myself the quality of your character. I shall prepare it immediately. Thank you. That's a load off my mind. There is something I would like to impart to you as well. Would you please step outside for a moment? But it's raining out there! I was looking around here to see if there's anything to see. Looks like no, though. It was boring. Do you remember the art I used when we fought against one another? I do. You made a big point of it. That is the lion's howl, an art passed down through our band of knights. Oh, you want to give it to me? I and my younger brother Boris are the only ones alive who know it. But now I pass it to you as well. Wilt thou accept? Yes. Okay, lion's howl. Well, you're a fast learner. I am. I, I can use minis very effectively. That this feeble art is all an oaf like me may offer you. Don't say that. It's incredible. Thank you so much, Captain Sergei. You and I stand as equals. You may call me Sergei. Then you may call me Sarei. Sarei, I am loath to believe the Pope just abandoned his post. Yeah, I don't buy that at all. But I also sense that there may be another side to this unfortunate story. I understand. We'll find the Pope and come back with the truth. Godspeed. Rose, was it the scattered bones who found the information on the Pope? Of course it was! Maybe. Seeing where the church's money was going gave us a little hint. That's what I thought. You guys sure don't operate in the same way that the Knights do. Of course not! An Assassin's Guild can't function without proper intel. Assassins. Right. I forgot. Here is your pass, Soray. Thank you. Our travel should be much easier now. 
I wish it were so. But we've received word that Byroclef Ridge, which leads to Gadotten, has been blocked by rock slides. We could have been on the ridge right now. If only we'd been a little bolder. Rose! My punchline! <laughs> What's the plan? Okay, that... Wait, 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 wait. You'll have to go wait, through wait. Cambria Caverns, south of the Meadow of Triumph. Okay, because I have, a, I have an objection to that. Um, boulder and boulder sound identical. So, from Rose saying it, there's no way at all that um, Lila should have been able to know that the punchline was taken. I mean, I, I guess you may not want to repeat it verbatim, but... Without the text at the bottom, there was no way of knowing that. An underground passage, huh? No problem. <laughs> That's your thing, isn't it? You bet it is. Lila looks very uncomfortable. <sighs> All right. So next time, well, uh, we got about four minutes left. Um, so I'll start heading in that direction. I do, again, I really, really, really like the character of the Cardinal. Because she raises a lot of questions. Um, up until now, the only Hellion we've seen that was cognizant and intelligent was um, Heldolf. Heldolf. I, I, I'm terrible at his name, I'm sorry, guys. Let's see, is this anything? No. Damn it. I actually thought this was the front entrance and I'm dumb. Aww, I my treasure chests. Um, and she does not seem to be at all a Hellion, but she has the exact same suppression aura that Heldoff does. And that really, really makes me curious. I, I want to know where that's going. Obviously, I don't want you to tell me where that's going. But it, it definitely it adds a whole new... It's, it's a group of humans that is aware of the Seraphim and honors the Seraphim, but also sees the Seraphim as useful. Which is... Un, it, it's, a whole new, it's a whole new side of the story. Alright. Only eight fusion points. Damn it, I didn't get to hit that save point in the church. There may have been a cutscene there, but the cut the like scene has started. That's another thing I'm not entirely sure of though. And another thing I have to somewhat object to. Our plan is to go get the Pope and then have him translate the um inscription in order to give us the power to work within the Cardinal's aura. But how the hell are we gonna get the Pope into the middle of the church with the R Cardinal there? If we can't do anything with our aura yet. I guess we're just hoping that the Pope remembers what the inscription says? Sure looks like the Cardinal Sahelian. Indeed. I'm not sure. Though we have yet to discover its true form. In other words, she claims to be serving the people, but in reality, she's just furthering her own ambitions. Sounds about right, stupid humans. Perhaps she was burdened with a responsibility she could not bear. The pressure to do something, anything, most likely was channeled into her sense of self-justification. So basically, she couldn't hack it. Do you think the Pope jumping ship might have been what finally set her off? That I couldn't tell you. Your, uh, job kind of depends on that, right? Yep. That's why I gotta track down this Pope and see for myself just what kind of person he is. <sighs> Saray, you must gain the spiritual powers. Everything else comes second. Right. Let's try and find the Pope. Go, go, Gadotin! <laughs> Ugh. I'm really interested in this current plotline, but I'm also really confused by it. If her sense of self-righteousness is what drove her to become a Hellion, that doesn't make sense, because becoming a Hellion should come from negative emotions, from what I understood. Ugh, I ate too much today. My stomach's all achy. Oh my, you shouldn't stuff yourself like that, Rose. By the way, I was curious. Can Seraphim get upset stomachs or gain weight? To say it in a fairy tale sort of way, your thoughts become reality. What's that supposed to mean? We won't gain weight from consuming calories, 
but we will from thinking, I'll gain weight if I eat this much. Whoa! So does that mean you'll be okay as long as you don't think like that? No. Denying the reality of things leads to malevolence. A seraph must not be detached from reality. What? So at the end of it all, you could say we're the same as humans. This is so confusing! It really is. That makes no sense at all. What? I'm sick of this Norman collecting already. How is that possible? Everyone knows you love him. You've even got one on your umbrella. Rose, better not to mention the mascot. It gets long. I love long stories. Go ahead, lay it on us. <laughs> okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. This little guy here? You can pull out his head to stretch out his neck, like a giraffe. That's what you meant by it gets long? Same goes for the nose, too. Max length, 1.5 times its height. Ew, that's not even a Norman anymore. That's right. This thing's like a talisman, an amulet, a rabbit's foot, a periapt, that sort of thing. I've never heard of a periapt before. I don't before. quite get it, but sure. A charm you carry because it's special to you, right? Not really. It was given to me, so I put it on. By your brother? I thought it was given by her brother. Her brother is the only one that I think she actually has any true respect for. Okay, so we'll go ahead and end the episode there. Next time we head down, well actually, here I have a serious question for you guys. I know it's a blind run, but next time, if it were up to me, I would go back to um, the previous city and see if I can solve the freaking murder thing. I want to do that, and I couldn't before, so can I go do that now, or does that have to wait until later? Because I will head down south and look for the Pope if I can't solve the murder thing right now. But if I can, I'm totally doing that. So let me know if that's a possibility. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I will see you in the next episode.